Hello students, I welcome you all to the e-learning sessions of LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Myself Hardik Shah and I am here to share my knowledge with you all about the subject of automotive electricals and electronics, right? So today we are starting a new chapter that is the introduction to this subject that is introduction to automotive electricals and electronics, okay? And our today's topic in this video is basics of electrical and electronic systems and generation storage and distribution system fine so i hope you all will see this video till the end to completely understand this topic and gain your skills in automobile engineering fine so let's start our video so before moving to our main topic let me tell you first what is the main difference between the electrical and electronic devices okay so from what you can understand that the major difference between electrical and electronic device is the electrical devices are actually convert the electrical energy into other forms like heat light sound okay and whereas the electronic devices controls the flow of electrons for performing the particular task so let me tell you first what is the key differences between both of them okay so actually both are actually interconnected or you can say correlated with each other fine the working principle of both of them are same that it is uses the electrical energy for doing the work okay so let's see some of the key difference between the electrical and electronic devices okay so first key difference that we can say that the electrical device changes the current into the another form of energy like heat or light whereas the electronic device controls the movement of electrons for performing the operation which is actually told okay the electrical devices are actually uses copper and aluminum wires for the flow of the electrical current okay whereas the electronic devices uses the semiconductor materials okay that was the second key difference next is the electrical devices mainly works on the alternating current that is ac current okay whereas in electronic devices works on direct current or you can say dc current fine so that was the electric electronic part now next is the electrical devices works on high voltage whereas the electronic devices works on a low voltage okay next is the power consumption of the electrical devices is more as compared to the electric electronic devices okay so electrical device gets more power it consumes more power and electronic consumes less power next the conductivity of the electrical device is high and for electronic devices the conductivity is low okay next is the electrical devices do not manipulate the data whereas the electronic devices actually manipulate the data for performing the task then next the electrical device directly works on the current due to which it gives the quick response okay the electrons are the only moving charge of the electronic device and hence its response time is very less okay compared to electrical device next is the electrical device is heavy and larger in size okay hence it requires more spaces whereas the electronic components are very smaller like cheap okay and it requires very less space compared to electrical okay next is the electrical device is more dangerous as compared to the electronic device why because electric or you can say electrical devices are heavy okay so they are having the very heavy short circuit occurs because of the fault which is very dangerous for life because there is a high voltage fine next the fan then transformer motor generators these are the example of electrical devices okay whereas the transistor thyristor micro microcontrollers sensors and everything and these are the examples of electronic devices fine so these are the main key difference so let's start with our today's topic that is the generation storage and distribution system in a automotive electrical so actually these systems are classified under the main five types okay first is the generation storage and distribution second is starting system thereafter ignition system there after lighting system and there after the accessories so these are the main five types which is actually concluded in every car okay let's see all of them one by one so the first one is generator 
the generator is the primary source of electrical energy in any vehicle okay it converts mechanical energy supplied by the engine into electrical energy okay so it will be sufficient to say that for the time being that a generator consists of a armature it is having an armature okay which rotates between the poles of the magnets on a stationary yoke for the direct current okay it is a dc unit actually so the primary function of the generator is to recharge the battery okay it also supplies the current to the other electrical units while car is uh, working okay it is provided on a vehicle when the engine is in a running condition okay what are that different devices so battery so what is battery the battery supplies electric current to the operate the starting motor and the ignition system when the engine is being started okay it is also called the heart of the electric system the battery stores the energy in a chemical form now a chemical reaction takes place between the loading cathode of the battery okay so we can say that the electricity consuming devices like starters and lights are using battery okay so they are connected with the battery and which produce the flow of the current inside them okay the current that the battery can deliver is actually limited okay so if the current is not forced back into the battery for some external sources like the automobile generator the battery would soon get discharged okay and what will happen it will not be possible to give other charge to other components okay so the main job in the automobile is to supply the electric units of a vehicle when the engine is not driving the generator at a speed sufficient to produce the needed current so battery actually helps in balancing the voltage in a system okay so that was the battery next is regulator so there is also a regulator fitted on a automobile okay which actually regulates the current produced by the generator okay so if there had been no regulator the current produced by the regulator or you can say current produced by the generator would have been so much that it would or you can it can also damage the battery and other electrical units okay so we need to regulate that current also actually high current is actually permitted to flow by the regulator when the battery is in the discharge condition or when the vehicle's electric units are turned on okay so when engine is not running but battery is on it will use the power of the battery okay and it is regulated by the regulator it also helps in reducing the current produced by the generator when the battery is in a charged condition and when the electric units are switched off okay so what we will do in this chapter we will start to build some of the automotive circuits also and to build a complete circuit we must have conductors also to carry the current from the voltage okay voltage source to the electrical loads so the conductors are the you can say uh, it, it is a thousand feet of wires okay and cables used in a complete electrical system okay so the vehicle chassis is also one type of conductor for ground side of the circuits okay we need to earth them okay for earthing purpose and we will see that later okay so we will begin with the study of the wiring harness connectors cables and different terminals of the system okay and thereafter in some uh, next chapters we will also see some of the symbols which is used in a automobile electrical systems okay so after studying the basic parts of the system that is the voltage source then conductors loadings and all that okay uh, we will put them all together in complete circuits okay so what is happening actually in real world so in real world the diagrams of this systems are actually very complex okay but technicians must be able to identify each component by its symbol and to determine how the current travels from the power source to the ground okay so for the technicians they are using the electrical circuit diagrams to locate the every component of a vehicle and they can easily trace the wiring or you can say they can also trace the fault in a system okay and it will actually useful for the diagnosis of the system fine so that was about the main generation of the electric system inside the car okay in next session we will see about the lighting system charging system and sorting system of the vehicle fine so that's it in today's session if you have any doubt or any query you can write it in a comment section okay i will 100% solve it and you can also contact me on a mail okay so that's it in today's session see you in next session thank you